What's up guys, in this short tutorial I will show you how to boost your FPS and increase your overall performance when playing Mountain and Blade 2 on Windows 10. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions then leave a comment and let me know. If you are running the minimum system requirements, then these tweaks will help you out a lot. Everything you need will be listed in the description below. First, we will take a look at the in-game settings. Here, set the display mode to full screen and set the screen resolution to your desktop resolution. In case none of these tweaks helped you out as much as you wanted, then you can lower this setting too. This will in any case increase your performance, but the visual quality will suffer too. Leave the resolution scale at 100, but again, you can lower this setting as a last resort. Next, go to your performance settings. Here, depending on your system, I suggest you to first of all set the overall graphics quality preset to low or medium. Lower your shader and shadow quality, as well as some of your particle and other detailed options. In order to optimize your settings to your performance, you should tweak your settings a few times after playing the game to see what works best for you. Below, disable anti-aliasing, cliff simulation, interactive grass, tessellation, bloom and motion blur. These settings can also be enabled if you prefer the change in visual quality. When this is done, leave the game running and open up your task manager. Here in the processes tab, right click the banner load launcher and select to go to details. In the details tab, the mouse and blade process should be highlighted. Simply right click it and set its priority to high. Back in the processes tab, you can answer programs from running in the background, which you don't need while playing the game but make sure to only add the processes which you know won't break your operating system. In the Startup tab, you can additionally disable some programs from starting up on System Boot. You can now close the game and your Task Manager. Next, open up your NVIDIA Control Panel. You can do the same step with the AMD Driver Suit. Here, go to Manage 3D Settings and then Program Settings. Select to add a program to customize and then add Banner Load Launcher from the program list. Below, we will change a few settings. Make sure that the CUDA setting is set to your main GPU, set the power management mode to prefer maximum performance, and set the texture filtering quality to performance. When this is done, search for Game Bar to open up your Game Bar system settings. Here, uncheck the Recording option, and in the Captures tab, make sure to additionally disable the Background Recording option. When enabled, these settings will only reduce your performance. If you want to record your gameplay, then I suggest using OBS Studio or an external capture card if you lack performance. Next, open up your GeForce Experience application or AMD equivalent to update your graphics card. Depending on how frequent you're updating your GPU, this tweak can make the biggest difference. In the Drivers tab, simply click on Download and the application will automatically download and install the latest driver. Also, Make sure that your operating system is up to date to get the most out of your system. If you still need more performance, then I suggest you to uninstall the game and re-download it to your solid state drive. I hope this helped you out, leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.